On Blitz, we have D.D. Dillard, legendary coach of the Raven County Lady Wildcats. D.D., thank you so much for having me up here and getting to talk about your basketball team like we always do every year. I love looking forward to this. Um, we love having you come up. We're thank ready. you. I appreciate that. And let's talk just recent success, the Piedmont Hardwood Classic. It's such a cool tournament they have there at Piedmont. Um, you had a big comeback win over, you know, arch rivals Union County, which makes it a little extra special. Down by 20 points, come back and win that thing. What was that like? It was it was really crazy. I mean, I felt like um, Union County is a very good team, so it's not like I expected to go in and win. But at the same time, we weren't expecting to be down by 20. I really mm -hmm. thought it would be a pretty competitive game. And, um, and then when we got down to that point, I think what I love the most is that um, I called a timeout. We were going to get into our press. And the girls still believe they could win. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that about them because, you know, some teams I've had, um, they say they believe it, but they don't really go out and play like they believe it. And this group, they just they just kind of bear down. And um, they did a really good job creating pressure and easy baskets off of our defensive pressure. And um, I think the more success we found with that, the harder we actually played. Um, so it was really fun. It was, I'm sure it was much more fun as a fan than it was <laughs> right. as a coach, but <laughs> probably a lot um, more anxiety. On yeah, but I was really proud of, you know, we had some girls make some big shots and, and big key rebounds. Um, I was talking yesterday. I think my favorite play was, um, I think it was a tie game and Ellie missed a shot and Millie comes out of nowhere, gets the offensive board and we end up scoring and going ahead. Um, and it's just that effort. I think that was just probably my most favorite moment yeah. of the whole game. Yeah, those will prepare prepare you for the, the long run, too. Um, so you're off to a 4 and one start. You won that championship. Um, state ranked. You know, all those things that seem to always surround this program. But you also have two All-State players coming back. Um, you have three next-level athletes right now on the team. Um, just all the hype. Um, every year, like you said, it's a different group. So you got to sort of – probably have that conversation. How do how does this locker room deal with that hype and sort of stay focused on the game to game? Well honestly I think the Union County game probably helped with that a little bit. You know, we had beaten them pretty comfortably the week before at home and um, had just had conversations like you can't get complacent mm -hmm. thinking that you're just gonna show up and win. So I think the reality of that game kind of got their attention a little bit. And so, uh, you know, moments like that really help more than anything I could say. But, you know, like usual, we try to, we try to stay very grounded. Um, we watch film every, every game that we play, we watch and kind of talk about what we could have done better and different. And, mm -hmm. um, and the girls are really receptive to that. And that's important because you can have success and your team doesn't think that they have areas to improve on. And this group understands um, that we still have some room to grow. And that's exciting because we have really some, some great teams in front of us that we have to compete and get ready for. Absolutely. And, you know, going back to the two All-State guards, and your whole lineup is just awesome. Um, but having a Lucy Hood and Ellie Southards, um, how special is it to have uh, not just one but two players of that caliber? They're, they're a lot of fun to coach. Um, they do a great job of being coachable, and that's so important. When you're the best players, you have to be coached, mm -hmm. um, and you have to be willing to be coached, and they are both very receptive to that, and I think that has really impacted our younger kids. They see that, you know, the work that Lucy and Ellie have put in into becoming great players, but also that they still understand there's work left to be done. So I think, um, aside from a skill, advantage which you know they have over most of the girls on our team I think it's just the leadership that they provide mm -hmm. um, they they have next level leadership and I think that's what's been the most fun part of them to coach I mean sometimes I sit back and I'm just amazed at how well they can play and, and the things they can do on the court but it's really I think the things off the court that separate them and and make them much much better than a lot of their peers yeah and then you have Millie Watts like you said JC McCall and those are players that stood out last year. But who are some of the, the ones maybe that are kind of new to the scene that really have stepped up their game and ready for the spotlight? Sure. We have, we have some young kids, um, Avalyn Thompson, who had a, a really, really big game for us against Trinity Christian um, offensively. And then we have another freshman, Addie Beth Owen. She's coming in, and she's – basically our backup point guard, but sometimes she'll run point even when Lucy's out there. And um, so they've been doing, they've both been doing a really good job 
Um, even as freshmen, I don't think they necessarily play like freshmen. We have a very solid sophomore class uh, mm -hmm. with Lauren Mazarki, Hannah Beers, Conley Spivey, Madison Houck. Um, they're, they're starting to see some varsity minutes, and I think uh, they didn't get a lot of playing time last year, but they're, they're doing a really good job of stepping in and giving us a few minutes here and there. And then you have, you know, I call them like glue people, like kids like Molly Howard and Chloe Erlewine and our other senior, mm -hmm. Isaiah Wilmot. They just come in and, and they do the dirty work, and they, mm -hmm. don't, they don't seek a lot of attention or recognition. Um, when they're not in the game, they provide huge amounts of energy on the bench. So um, I, I'm seeing positive contributions from, from freshmen up to seniors, and, mm -hmm. that, and that's been a lot of fun. And I love uh, the things that you instill in your program. It goes beyond the court. Um, the, the motto that you come up with year to year, I know it's not just something you just come up with out of the blue. I mean, it, you spend a lot of time on that. And it teaches these kids how to be better people, not just better basketball players. But what is it this year that you came up with? How did that kind of come to be? Um, so our thing this year is called Whatever. Um, and I actually have had this kind of in my heart and on my mind since about March. Um, it's just something that um, I really prayed about and thought about a lot. And there's really three pillars to that Whatever. And the first one is doing whatever it takes to be a great teammate, mm -hmm. um, no matter what your role is. Understanding your role is important, and then we can't function without that. So sometimes, you know, you might be on the floor, sometimes you might be on the bench, but what are you going to do? Whatever it takes to be a great teammate uh, to help our team be successful. Um, the second part of that is just believing in the whatever of your dreams. You know, do you believe that by doing whatever that we can accomplish great things as a team? And then the third, um, actually comes from scripture in Philippians where it says to focus on whatever is true, whatever is pure, whatever is noble, whatever is excellent and praiseworthy. And that's just the mindset that I think you have to have. Um, basketball season is such a long season. Mm -hmm. It's such a grind. Things aren't going to go our way every time. And so to have a whatever attitude means that you really have to focus on um, the positives and not get caught up on the negatives because there's there's going to be plenty of negatives but we can't achieve those dreams and we can't be great teammates if we're stuck in that mindset of focusing on what we've done wrong or the things that aren't going our way and so it's kind of a three pillar approach in terms of you know believing and achieving and and then focusing on on the good i have a feeling that's gonna that's gonna have a great ripple effect throughout the rest of the year and wish you the best of luck as the season unfolds thank you very